Happy Tuesday. Uh, Sorry I couldn't be with you again here today. I'm hopeful to be back uh, tomorrow. Uh, Today we are going to continue here with 3.2.4. We're looking at uh, more conditions for triangle similarity. Uh, Again, no test this week, Um, just lessons. So we'll finish out the week with two more lessons as well. Um, But we are going to continue here with the lessons today. So uh, if you have the ebook open, I'm going to start with that. Uh, I'm hoping today should be maybe a little bit easier, a little less um, long than than yesterday, uh, but we'll see kind of how it goes. So it says this, so far you have worked with two methods for determining that triangles are similar, okay? We have looked at angle-angle similarity, and we have looked at side-angle-side similarity, okay? We've hinted at the one that we are going to look at today. We've actually even done some of that on the practice test and things like that. Um, But today we're going to look at it in more detail. Okay. Are there other ways to determine if two triangles are similar? Today we will investigate similar triangles. Complete your list of triangle similarity conditions. Questions that you should be asking yourself and your team today. How much information is needed? Are the triangles similar and how we know that? And can I find a triangle with this information that is not similar? Okay, so again, I would encourage you to pause the video. Don't just watch them straight through. I do want you to continue to still work on these some here on your own. So getting started with 82, it says Robel's team is using the side angle side similarity condition to show that two triangles are similar. This is too much work, Robel says. When we were using the angle angle similarity condition, we only needed to look at two pairs of corresponding parts. Let's just calculate the ratios for two pairs of corresponding sides to determine that the triangles are similar. So it says, if two pairs of corresponding side lengths share a common ratio, must the triangles be similar? If not, what additional information is needed? Investigate these questions below. So again, I would encourage you to pause these here and answer these two questions here uh, pretty quickly, I think. I would say about three to five minutes, you should be able to work through these. So pause the video here and try to do A and B. So letter A says, Robel has a triangle with side lengths four and five. If your triangles have two sides that share a common ratio with Robel's, does your triangle have to be similar to this? Or is side-side similarity a valid similarity condition? This one is no, okay? You do need to have, we need all sides to be proportional. or angles to be congruent, okay? There's actually infinite infinite possibilities with only two sides, okay? Then in letter B says, I want to test angle side angle similarity, which means I start with two pairs of congruent angles and the length of the sides connecting these angles are proportional. Would that be enough information? This one is yes. This is the same as angle angle similarity. We only need two angles. So if we have two angles, we don't really need the sides, okay? So looking then at 83, okay? It says, what other triangle similarity conditions involving sides and angles might there be? List the names of every possible triangle similarity condition you can think of involving corresponding side lengths and angles, okay? So right now there are really quite a bit of these. So go ahead and list as many as you think. This should just take a minute or two, and then um, I'll check back in. So pause here, list as many as you can. So again, really, there's quite a bit of different things you could have written down. We could like angle, angle, similarity, side, 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 angle, angle, side, side, angle, 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 side, side, angle, side, angle, side, angle, and so on and so forth. Okay, so we are going to try to narrow this list down here some. So in 84, it says, in problem 82, Robel discovered that side-side was not a valid similarity, but Kendall wondered if side-side-side was valid. 
before experimenting, make a prediction. Well, we should already know this, right? We should know that all sides, all sides, proportional works. Okay. So then in letter B, it says, can you create two triangles with proportional sides that are not similar? Investigate, sketch your shapes, and write down your conclusion. So with this one, okay, if corresponding sides share a common ratio, and this is really what I mean by saying proportional proportional okay then corresponding angles are equal and the more important part triangles are similar so we're gonna get a little bit of work with this, okay? 85, this is like the main problem we have to be able to understand, okay? So similar, side, 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 similar. It says this, Kendall observes that whenever she builds triangles with the same three lengths, the triangles always end up congruent. So I'm gonna say pause the video here, try to work through these. This one might take you close to 10 minutes because you got a lot of parts here, A through F, okay? But take some time. Really try to work with these because 85 is like the main problem that you have to be able to understand by the end of today, okay? So looking at this one, our two triangles with the same three side lengths always congruent, okay? This one, yes. Side, side, side congruency um, is when a zoom factor is one, okay? We'll prove this later on, but at this point, I will just take it as fact, okay? So in letter B, okay, it says, Kindle now wants to figure out if three pairs of corresponding proportional side lengths or side, side, side similarity can be used to determine if triangles are similar. She decides to test triangles with side lengths four, six, and eight, and six, nine, and 12, okay? And this is shown here, down here. Okay, so we got kind of a weird break here, but we'll be all right. So it says, mark the point G at the place four units away from the point D on DF. Okay, so we'll say this is point G, this is going to be four, this is going to be two. Okay, now, uh, so we marked point G on DF. Then eight units away from point D on DE, mark the point G, okay? So basically when we're all said and done here, this is what we have, okay? So I'm gonna draw this here. I have the same triangle, okay? And I have this. So I have D, G, F, J, E, okay, and this is four, and this is eight, okay? So, letter C, it says your diagram looks like two triangles on top of each other, draw the two triangles side by side, and label the vertices on both triangles, okay? So I'm gonna redraw these then here. So I have D, F, E, and I have that's not real great, but H G J, and this is four, and this is eight. Okay, so we've labeled these. Now label the lengths of the sides of both triangles. Use the concepts um, from here. Okay, the length must be six. by the side angle side similarity, okay? So if I look at G, J, this length here, we can set up a proportion to solve this, 
okay? Letter E says, knowing that the dimensions of triangle G, H, J, what can you conclude about triangle D, E, F, and triangle A, B, C, okay? So here's what we can conclude. Triangle A, B, C has the same lengths as triangle G, H, J. Then triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle D, E, F. Then lastly here in letter F says, can you extend this reasoning to other pairs of triangles with three pairs of proportional sides discussed with your team? Okay. Our conclusion here is yes, this logic works for all pairs of triangles with three proportional sides. So last one then that we are going to work with, okay? And this one you can use the E tool, I think is helpful here to help you with this, okay? 86 says this, Corey's team put side-side angle on their list of possible triangle similarity conditions. To test this idea, Corey started by drawing the triangle on the right, okay? So give you a few minutes. Again, pause the video, look for or try to solve A and B. So in letter A, Okay, it says use the technology tool uh, and determine whether side-side angle is a valid triangle similarity. Okay, if a triangle has two sides sharing a common ratio with Cori's and has the same angle that is not in between those sides, must it be similar to Cori's triangle? If, in other words, can you create a triangle that is not similar to Cori's? If you determine side-side angle, it is not a valid similarity condition. We can cross it off our list. Okay, side-side angle similarity is not valid. Now, I'm not going to rearrange these letters, but if you do rearrange these, they do make a three-letter word that is frowned upon to say in general society. And so I think an easy way to remember this is we do not swear in math class. And we'll look at this more when we look at triangle congruency as well. But side-side angle similarity does not work. So in letter B to end today, it says go through your list of possible triangle. The only ones that work for us is angle-angle similarity, side-side-side similarity, and side-angle-side similarity. And we've looked at these here now the last couple days. So hopefully this is starting to catch on for us. So today... Your homework is 3-88 to 3-93, and there is a homework quiz as well. Have a good day, and like I said, I hope to see you tomorrow.